Everyone wants them. Few people have them. And if you're like me, this is what you're starting out with. Oh god, this is gonna take some work. Hi, my name's Jack, and if you've ever felt fat, broke, and or stupid before, then this channel's for you. I know what you're thinking, and yes, this is the face that matches that hot bod you just saw a couple seconds ago. If you can't tell, I've never had abs before, and I really want them, so I decided that I would take on the 22-day ab workout challenge by Athlean X. And if you don't know what it is, I'm going to leave a link to their video below in the description so you can see for yourself. And the reason I like this challenge is because, one, it's for 22 days in a row, and that's a good opportunity to build this workout into a habit. Uh, I also like it because it doesn't use just the number of repetitions as a, a metric for the workout. It also uses time. Uh, if I can do a certain exercise for a certain amount of time, great. Then I do it again. And if I can keep doing it, great. I keep working on it and working on it until uh, essentially I, I extinguish myself. And this element of time is something unique to my workout routines that I really enjoy. Another reason that I chose this workout routine for my, my own personal ab challenge is because it's by Jeff at AthleanX. And he's a guy that I respect a lot. I've watched pretty much every single one of his videos. And if he says that this is a good routine, then, then I believe him. Now, I believe him, but I'm also a scientist and, and I'm a big skeptic. So I want to try it out for myself. And I want to record the results and see what 22 days of consistent daily ab working outness can do for me and, and what it could potentially do for you too, especially for people who are starting out so fit and without visible abs at the beginning of the challenge. Yes, I did do this challenge and this workout for 22 days. Uh, just a heads up, I'm gonna do it for 44 days and probably 66 days too. And if you're interested in finding out what this workout can do over a longer period of time, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get my updates every 22 days on the progress that I'm making on this workout. If you're like me, I know you're wanting to see the before and after videos really bad. It's always the best part of these videos, but I think it's important to look at the challenge step by step and talk about the different exercises quickly and briefly before we do the before and after video. So let's look at the exercises in this challenge and how they're broken up and what I had to do for each, each one of them every single day for the last 22 days. The first and most important thing is to get your phone and your timer out because a lot of these exercises involve time. The first one, called Heels to the Heavens, is a lower abs exercise. And what you do is, is you do this for 45 seconds. And if you can do that, great. Take a 10 second rest and then do it again. And I'll admit, I was able to get pretty good at this exercise after the 22 days, probably because it was the first one in the routine and uh, I was pretty fresh while I was doing it. The second exercise is called Step Through Planks. It's a bottom up rotation exercise. The extinction time is 45 seconds and the rest time is 10 seconds. I really enjoyed these uh, movements, but I did find that my, my shoulders would get exhausted and extinct before my abs and my, uh, my core did. So this is something I'm gonna have to work on to improve and optimize this challenge going into the second round. The third exercise is called X-Man Crunch. It's a mid-range movement, and instead of using time as your metric, this time you're gonna do 12 reps and if you can do that, you take a 10 second rest and repeat. This was hands down my favorite exercise. It felt really good and by the end of the 22 days, I was getting up to three or four, even five extinction periods at my very best. The fourth exercise is called alternating thread the needle. It's an obliques movement and I found this one really challenging. It's a, another exercise where you're not gonna use time but repetitions is your metric and you do 10 of these 
to each side, so that's 20 in total. And I found that I was able to get anywhere between four to six or seven repetitions on each side as my maximum. And it's an indicator to me that my obliques definitely need some more training. And I'll keep working on it. For the fifth exercise, you're gonna need your phone because we're gonna be looking at time again. This one's called alternating jackknives. It's a top-down movement. The extinction period is 45 seconds with a 10 second rest. And I'll admit, I did not get through a single extinction period during the entire 22 days. I found this exercise extremely difficult. I was already exhausted. My abs were wrecked. My upper back was sore. My legs were a mess. I couldn't keep them up to do the movement properly. I tried all sorts of variations, but this one was a real challenge for me. The sixth and last movement is the stationary bike. It's a top-down rotation movement. The extinction period is 30 seconds with a 10 second rest. And this one was also a killer. I was so exhausted. At this point, I've been doing abs for probably 10, 11, maybe even 12 minutes on a great day. And as you can see, I'm done. I am extinct, I can't do anymore, and my abs training for the day is finished. And now the moment everyone wanted to see, the before and after pictures. You can clearly see there's a difference in my belly. Um, it, it has a little bit more definition. No, that's not just the lighting. Um, the abs are looking better. You can see my gut coming out for true authenticity. Uh, even my back and, and the, the sides of my body are looking a little bit better. And I'll admit that more than the looks, my abs feel better. When I touch them, they, they feel strong, they feel flat on the inside, and I feel like I'm in more control of my abdominals and my movements and all of the other exercises that I'm doing. I did some pull-ups today and I could feel my abs totally engaged, and I can tell that my abs are stronger and fitter, and underneath whatever layer of fat that's still there, they're, they're gonna be looking much better too. So I, I will say that this has been an excellent 22 day challenge. I'm really happy with the results and uh, I'm looking forward to the next 22 days to see what the before and after photos will look like. Uh, they say that abs aren't built in the gym, they're built in the kitchen, so I'm definitely gonna put a, a huge focus on my weight loss. And while I did lose a little bit of weight in this challenge, uh, really the results that you're seeing here are due to the daily training and, and the consistent workouts that I did. And there you have it, 22 days of abs inspired by Jeff Cavalier at Athlean X. I hope it inspired you to look into his videos and, and to do some abs yourself. Now I am gonna keep going with this challenge. In fact, day 23 starts tomorrow. And if you'd like to know what 44 days of abs looks like, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and you'll get those updates every 22 days. If you like this video, uh, please leave a like and check out my channel because I've been doing experiments on all sorts of things, uh, including push-ups and smoking, and I've got a lot more challenges coming up over the next few months. So check it out and, uh, and see what tickles your fancy. Thanks for watching my video, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Bye for now.